So, I have mentioned that I have frogs, but in addition to the frogs, I also have fish. Um, they're sword tails. And if you don't know what sword tails are, um, I'll draw you a picture of them. Uh, so, there, uh, there's three, a couple different types of fish that are live bearers when they give birth to live babies. So these fish look like that, except they, the males have this little sword tail in the end. All right. And I'm kind of upset with my fish because the reason I have the fish in there with the frogs is because they're live bearers and they give birth to babies and then the baby is eaten by the frogs, so it's extra food for the fish. Well, uh, so I had one male fish and seven female fish. And I asked the, I was asked the fish guy at the store, I said, hey, is that male going to be like over, you know, is he going to be overworked? But no, he can keep all the, the, the fish females, you know, having babies. Well, the male died, right? So I ran out and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna have any baby fish for the baby, little baby fish for the frog to eat. But while I was doing that, the female fish that didn't have the sword tail, they transitioned, they became male fish. And this is a thing that sword tails can do. They can, they can transition from male to female, or female to male, they can't really do it the other way. But and I asked, the, I asked the guy, you know, I, I went and got the male fish, but by, in the time I had done that, they, they switched. And I ended up with like four, four males and only three females. And that's, what, that's not as good, because I need more, I, want, I'm only, I don't care whether they're male or female, I just want the babies. So then I, got, I ended up with another male, so I ended up with five males. And that's actually bad, because they will harass the females um, and cause them problems. So this, this took me on a long road of, of having problems with my sore tails and not having babies for my little frogs to eat, which is okay because I get the little blood worm cubes and they eat the blood worms. But um, something that interesting happened in my class was I uh, was referring to my my transitioning male and I said, "Gosh darn it, I got tranny fish," and which is probably a little off color. But I had a student write on my evaluation, "Hey, he used a slur," and I really wish that this student would have said something because I would have said, hey, the words only have the power that we give them. So, first of all, I was talking about fish, not people. I don't think I would have referred to any of my students as training, but I wish we could have talked about the power we give to words, and she would have mentioned something in class, but we did, she didn't, she waited for the go away, which I mentioned this like in week three. She remembered this, okay, I don't know exactly who it was, but I, I, have, I can usually tell who writes the comments, um, and I don't ever hold against them, I don't think, you know, it's direct whatever they want. And truthfully, I'm the only one that reads my evaluations, probably. I don't, I've never heard any, I've never had anyone tell me they've ever read my evaluations of me. But I wish you would have said something, because then we could have talked about the power we give to words, and that I was just, like, upset. I don't care whether they male or female, I just want babies. And you can't have babies if you have all males. So, that's my speech on fish. <laughs>